morning YouTube what's going on it's Brandon so I wanted to do a quick video today um, I'll try to make it quick anyway there's a few things to go over but uh, I wanted to uh, dispel any of the information that I've been hearing out there about it not possible uh, you know going out there and sourcing and making money uh, on on Amazon FBA in 2018 there's a lot of people saying ah you know you can't do that you know there's there's no money left in it and whatnot that's BS there's absolute BS there's so much money to still be made it's ridiculous you just gotta know where to look everybody has their own thing like you know there's a lot of people that are into books there's a lot of people that are into clothing there's people like me that are into electronics and household goods and collectibles and toys there are so many different things that are out there that people are into <clears throat> and uh, you know you, you just got to find what you're into so that you actually enjoy what you're doing and go out there and do it go out there and find the stuff it's there to find I promise you it is it's out there and this video is going to show it to you so let's get started so um, let's see here uh, today is Thursday on Monday and Tuesday, I went out and sourced, and this was an unusual week for me. Normally, I get a handful of video game systems and a ton of DVD and Blu-ray players and a bunch of games and other just random stuff. This week, I got a stupid number of uh, um, of gaming consoles. Some of them I did pay a little bit too much for. Uh, you know, don't give me the comments down below saying, "Oh, why'd you pay so much?" Blah 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 blah. Well, because overall, when you smooth it out, it actually makes more money the way I'm doing it. I don't want to go into that with you, though. That's my personal business model. You can do whatever you like. Um, and, you know, it just depends on how much time you want to put into this, too. So, real quick, I'm going to swing back around. Here is one more gaming console I didn't quite get a chance to test yesterday. Um, so, that's that's kind of the first thing on my list to do. I got a, a controller um, just, you know, I mean, five bucks for a, a Xbox 360 controller with a nice skin on it. All the sticks are tight. The buttons work great. Um, you know, that's a good deal because I can turn around easily and sell that for 10 or 15 bucks here locally. And boom, there's some profit. Also got, there we go, a, um, along with one of the PS3s that I bought, I got a gold controller. I may decide to hold on to that one for my personal use just because, um, it's, in really new condition um you know i mean it's been very very lightly played i can tell just by the way the um how clean the controller is and how responsive the buttons are and whatnot it's just it's a really nice controller that i'm effectively in nothing for because most of these consoles are all going to be sold just as the console itself so moving back over here you can see we've got one fat ps3 and i do believe that that is a backwards compatible one let's check Yep, look, four ports, backwards compatible. And let's see the price. Now, the price on this, this is part of what I wanted to talk to you guys about. The price on this was $74.99, and this was not on 50% off. <clears throat> As you can see, that is not my handwriting. That is the manager of the store's handwriting. She marked it all the way down to $14.99 for me. The reason why, sorry about that for the... The camera change in there my angles but the reason why is because i talked her into it uh you know i told her hey these older models um you know they're just not selling for what they used to now that's a little bit of a lie but it's also a little bit of a truth you know they do not have quite as much value also i showed her uh where was it oh not on that side sorry that's a different model <laughs> On uh, this side, you can see the security sticker is removed. I said there's a very good chance that this machine had the, either the yellow light or the red light of death. I also was able to take off the plate and show her that the little set screw that's normally a blue head set screw for the... Um, the hard drive uh, was totally um, uh, changed. It's a totally different screw. I said, who the heck knows what hard drive is in there or if it even still works? So I said, this is a complete question mark. Now, here's a couple of things about these stores, at least in my area. I don't know if it's going to be the same in your area or not, but in my area, um, the stores are supposed to, and this is coming from actual corporate, both of the major brand stores, uh, thrift stores that are in my area. Uh, I've spoken with the the um, corporate um, 
you know, the, the upper mucky mucks, if you will. And I've actually flat out asked them, are these stores supposed to actually check these for full, um, you know, working condition? And they said, yes, but they don't. I know that they don't because they don't have the time to. And I'm not complaining about that per se, because it gets me an opportunity to make some great money. So all of these arguments with this, um, um, uh, with this manager and um, she totally was with it now keep in mind if you're going to sit there and make an argument that doesn't mean to argue with them it means to make an argument present yourself in a very friendly and knowledgeable stance do not get combative with these people if you do you will lose and you will possibly get kicked out of the store and not be able to go back so don't do that be nice to these people. You want them as your friends because when they're your friends, they're going to make deals. And I'm going to show you some more killer deals here in a little bit. But right now, uh, backwards compatible that I did test. This is my handwriting that I did test. Works great. It's a 40 gig. And I bought it for 15 bucks plus tax. Good old Uncle Sam, of course, had to have his hand in the pot there. All right. So let's see here. One more. Um, this one I got. So this was uh, one of a handful of them that I bought at a specific store that um, you can see Value Village right there. That um, the guy didn't have the right um, equipment to test, but I noticed I peeked my head in the back door. And this is a really big, um, you know, uh, possible possibility because you never know what you're going to see. And most of them don't care if you just do a quick look real quick and just say, Hey, can I, can I see what's coming in? Is that all right? And they're most of the time they're like, yeah, yeah, go for it. I saw on a shelf that there were, God, I don't know, maybe 10 different uh, gaming consoles that were all on the shelf ready to be tested, but hadn't been tested yet. And I just said, Hey, you know, when are you guys going to get a chance to test those? Cause I'd really like to buy all of them. That's kind of key when they know that they're going to get a really big payout. They're probably going to be right on par with you for, um, you know, getting it, getting it tested sooner than later. I spoke with the manager. She said, Hey, why don't you talk with somebody in what they call the CDC department, uh, which was the, the kind of the back end where they bring in the stuff and then they test, you know, like consoles like this that come in guy didn't have a lot of time, um, to test all of them. He tested a few of them. He said, how about if I don't test this one, how about I give you 20 bucks as is I said, sold no problem because this guy is going to easily sell for, 35 40 bucks um uh locally and maybe even a little bit more online if I, especially if i get the cords and controller with it which by the way over the last few years i have um you know managed to um cum accumulate lots and lots of cords and controllers so i have plenty to go around you know if i ever have to put together a system it's really easy at this point that's a really good opportunity for you to um you know grow your business later on is if you just start collecting uh, known working controllers and cords for times when you really need them. All right, next. Uh, next, we have this Super Slim, and it did come with a controller and a set of cords. This is the power AV cable, uh, which is uh, HDMI, and then the charge cable, which is right there for the controller. This was at another store, um, uh, like a little mom and pop, if you will, store. And you can see he had $65.99 on it. I saw this uh, four days ago at the same store. I made him an offer of 30 bucks. He said, no way, can't do it. But if you come back in a few days, um, we might be able to talk about it if they don't sell it before then. Came back, offered him the same 30, 35 bucks for it. He came back with 40 and he said, or, and I said, okay, I'll take it. So 40 bucks for a super slim, works fantastic, 250 gig. Um, you know, can't complain about that. That's 40 bucks uh, for a gaming console that'll easily sell for another 60, 70 bucks. All right, keep going here. So there's another 1999 as is that was part of that same bundle. Uh, this guy was a 120 gig, worked just fine. 69.99. Uh, this one actually is the one that came with that gold controller that you guys saw. I mean, there we go. That gold controller that you guys saw. And it, um, it did come basically complete, but this guy, um, or I, I took the controller off of it just because I know I can, um, uh, you know, sell this for a profit. I did not pay $69.99 for it. I did actually pay $40. Uh, I think that was after tax. I believe that's what that says there. Yeah. Total, total was 40 bucks paid. This one does have, 
uh, Wheel of Fortune on the hard drive, which is kind of cool. And it's a 320 gig console. Sorry that the, the camera angle keeps changing. I'm trying to hold it in <laughs> just certain way and sometimes it moves. Anyway, um, so again, I know I paid a little bit more for some of these, but some of the other ones you're going to see I paid way under for. So um, it's all going to balance out in the end. $24.99, another slim I uh, got it for $24.99 minus 30%, which by the way, if I didn't say that before, I apologize. Um, all of these, um, uh, so like, you know, this guy, the $15, um, plus tax, all of these that I paid or that I bought at value village, I needed to make sure that you guys understood. I actually get 30% off of what I pay. Um, so like if I say I paid 40 bucks for it, it's 40 bucks minus 30%. So it's not, it's not an outright, um, and whether or not you can do that at your location, you know, I, you just got to kind of figure those things out. A lot of these um, thrift stores, they do have <clears throat> programs where you can get uh, better deals. So anyway, $24.99 minus 30%. Um, uh, you can see right there it said minus 30%. Uh, this one had NCAA Football 14 and FIFA 14. <clears throat> both those games on the hard drive those games don't really go for much i mean they're like a dollar game these days because you know that was like four years ago so i'm not i'm not banking on that being worth really anything to it other than just the fact that i can list the console as having a couple of games already on the hard drive and that just tends to drum up value a little bit more all right up here <clears throat> excuse me i'm sorry i got a frog in my throat this morning so Blockus, uh, right here, Blockus, you're going to notice a few different models of it uh, when you're out there sourcing. Make sure you pick these guys up. Right now that they're not going for much, I think it's like $16 for the for the game. But oftentimes throughout the year, they're going to be in the mid-20s to upper 20s for the game. Um, they're always worth picking up. Uh, and eventually after you pick up several of them, you're going to start pick, putting together... Um, uh, uh, boxes of these with, you know, like, uh, that are, are not complete so that you can then make other ones complete later on. Abalone, um, or Abalone, I don't know how you say that exactly, but, uh, that's a, a decent game. I don't come across it very often. Uh, I don't remember how much it's going for, but I know that pretty much all of these were going for something decent. Uh, Bezer Wizard, I always love the name of that. Um, that guy kind of fluctuates right now. It's a little bit low, but it, I know that the price goes up on it. Game of Life, Twists and Turns, that's a pretty consistent seller right around the top teens of uh, dollars. So, you know, like 18 19 maybe $17. Um, usually pick those up for three, four bucks. Uh, well, let's see here. So, um, the Game of Things. This is a fairly consistent seller. Um, just, uh, although actually now thinking about it, I think actually I'm not, um, I think I, I got slapped with this a couple of, um, months ago thinking that I could sell this and then realizing that I wasn't, um, gay or that I was gated rather in selling it. So I got to check it again. But <clears throat> if you're not gated in selling that good game clue, <clears throat> normally clue, not a great game to sell because they, they just sell for super cheap. This one though this particular series is the Vintage Game Collection series. There's a ton of these. Um, do they show the collection? Oh, yeah, right there. So you've got Sorry, Clue, Yahtzee, Strata, Stratigo, uh, Scrabble, Risk, Monopoly. All of those in this Vintage Game Collection sell really well for good money. Um, and I got that guy for 5 bucks. So haven't checked it yet. None of these games I've checked yet for to make sure that they're complete. So who knows? I got some specialty games here. Um, realized after the fact that I don't think I can actually sell them. I, I was um, kind of rushing through this particular store. It's actually where I got the um, the things, the, the game of things game from as well, the same store. I was rushing through that store and I forgot that these particular specialty games, they have blocks um, on it and you can see that I, I spent pretty good money on them, like 15 bucks on that one, 30 bucks on that one. I think that one was another like 20, 25 bucks. And then this one I think was a little higher as well. Actually, no, you know what? I take that back. I think this one I got for a killer deal, six bucks. That's not bad for this particular game. I'm going to probably have to sell those on eBay. Um, and I, I will probably just barely make my money on them. That's just, that's my fault. I'll, I'll take a, I'll take the hit on that. So 
Um, got, uh, let's see here, these three original Xboxes, and they have a stuck tray. Um, so that, that's pretty easy to fix if you don't know how to fix a stuck tray on the Xbox line of consoles. Uh, check out one of my other videos that talks about that. It's pretty easy. Um, and then let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those six plus those two. I just didn't want to go any higher. It's just not good to stack these too high. So those eight consoles all work perfect. They're just fine. Those uh, two consoles. Oh, no, I take that back. There's four there. There's four PS2s. I have them in two different piles. I got to remember why, but <clears throat> got those. Um, those all both work great. And then these five. Uh, actually, you know, I take that back. Uh, these three Xbox 360s work great. Uh, these two had some minor issues. I'm going to debate on whether or not I'm going to take those back or not. Before I keep going in the other room there, I've got some more stuff. <clears throat> I'm just going to show you this pile right here. This is what really pisses me off about shopping at these stores. You know, much like what I mentioned before is that these stores are supposed to make sure that this shit works. Excuse my French, but it pisses me off. They're supposed to make sure this stuff works. And yet this is what happens every effing week. I get a just buttload of stuff that just doesn't work for crap i mean it just it's it's junk um either it doesn't turn on uh there's power issues it eats tapes um you know with like the the um uh the vcrs and the dvd vcr combos um you know it's just it, just whatever it just it pisses me off but um so what i do is i just i take these back right back to in this case most of these go to goodwill some go to value village like that guy right there um, but I, I take them back to Goodwill. They give me a gift card for, uh, the returned items. And then I go out and just spend it again. But, um, I shouldn't have to spend my time, you know, going through this crap because they're supposed to do it. And so just whatever that is part of the, part of the deal. That's part of doing, uh, uh, thrift store shopping is you got to deal with their BS, even though again, they're supposed to be responsible for that. Here are all the working players. So um, everything that I bought last week, uh, player-wise, was right here. And you can see that they're kind of standing up on end back there. I think there's like three or four in a row, um, in two rows of them. And then there's this stack on top of those. And then there's these four. And then there's the big players. There's these four right here. So everything there and there, uh, player-wise, is what I bought. And look at that. It is, it's like a 60-40 split. How stupid is that, right? 60-40, so they're making all this money. And it, I'm one of the people that actually brings stuff back. Imagine the, st the people that don't bring anything back. I feel bad for those people. It's like, you know what? No, take your stuff back because these people need to give you your money back or allow you to get something else for it, something. Because that's just crap. Anyway, all right, moving on. I digress. What do we got here? The game of life, electronic banking. So this isn't just life, it's electronic banking. I don't actually think I've done this particular board game before, but I must have looked it up and it's going for something good. So I grabbed it. Have not looked through it yet though. The What you're seeing in there, along with this entire bag, they're, they're kind of, um, they're sitting up like those ones. And then there's a bunch sitting upside down. So I think total, I got like 15 of these, give or take. And... You can see they're just a basic, nothing nothing special to them, um, like little handheld thing that just kind of plugs right into the TV, just a little video game system, um, very basic video game system. Uh, each one of them were $3.99. I want to say they're going for like $13, something like that, and they've got about 150, if I remember correctly, th uh, 150,000 sales rank in toys. So... Not horrible, not great. My phone's about to die, so I gotta hurry. All right, so uh, let's see here. We've got some Bose speakers. I'll talk about those in just a second. Um, a Keurig, which I'll also talk about in just a second. This guy right here. And then um, uh, the last video game system I haven't had a chance to test yet, an Xbox One. Let me, let me bring this big bag here into the other room. And it's this way I can sit down and go through this stuff and talk to you guys while my phone's plugged in, along with 
let's see here, along with a, sorry guys, camera angle's not the greatest, I know, I'm no freaking professional when it comes to doing this, but I want to make sure and make a couple of real strong points with you guys here, with these, uh, not that one, oh, that's right, it's in the other room, so I, I pick up a very specific Keurig, a lot of them these days just don't go for much money anymore. It's this guy right here. <clears throat> but there are all three of them that you've seen in this video so far are all the same model. Just a sec, guys. I'm <sighs> plugging in my phone. Come on. There we go. Okay. Let's start with this Keurig. <clears throat> These Keurigs. This one, I don't know that it's kind of hard to see the bottom. I don't know that it's going to translate well on the screen or not. Actually, that translates really well. Where is it? Model, there we go. There's the model. B as in boy, 7-0. B-7-0. You look that up on Amazon, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to say that I'm full of crap, that that model is not selling for nothing. And you're right. The B-7-0 model doesn't sell. The K75 model, that's K as in kite, 75, that model sells incredibly well. And guess what it is? It's the B70 model plus one thing. That one thing that it adds is this right here. This is a water filter. That's all it is. Just a water filter. And it makes, and it slides just right down in there into that little hole. Just like that, it just sits right there, and the cover goes right back on it. That is the only difference between the B70 model and the K75 model. And the difference in value is people are spending upwards of $150 to $225 for this model. Why? I have no idea, but they keep doing it, so I keep selling it. Um, there's there they we've sold, my wife and I have sold easily 50 of those um i mean it's just it's nuts people just go bonkers over it um and it's just it, it seems to save or keep its value it's just it's amazing however um pretty much every other model um i mean there, there's a couple here and there but they're real tough i'm not going to go into the nuances and whatnot but just about every other model of keurig is more or less garbage unless you really pick it up cheap i mean you got to pay like a couple bucks for it just because of how big they are and what it takes to ship these guys 20 bucks is what i paid for that that's about average normally i like to not spend more than about 15 rarely i get a, i pick them up for less than 10 and that's you know always helpful but um anyway so that's that's uh, uh where we're at with that guy um, make sure that you pick up B70 models and look for those uh, water filters because you can definitely make some killer, killer money on these guys. All right, uh, move that to the side and let's talk about this uh, Bose speaker real quick. All right, this Bose speaker, um, that's not, there we go. It's a 201 Series 4. Now, here's what I know about Bose. They freaking sell. People love this, the name of this speaker. I do not sell a lot of speakers, so I took a little bit of a risk on this, but I thought it was a calculated risk. Bose 201 Series 4 is a decent um, sounding speaker. I have not tested these ones yet, um, but I, I'm going to hook them up to my sound system here um, a little bit later today and, and make sure that they got good sound to them. Here's why I bought it. This was at St. Vincent de Paul, and you see it says 40 bucks for the set, for the set of two speakers, 40 bucks. This, by the way, easily comes off with just um, like either a wet rag or I may have to use like a, a, a Mr. Clean uh, Magic Eraser on it, but either way, th this will come right off. So don't ever worry about if they use some kind of chalk on, on you know, like your speaker, if it's on the, the hard plastic resin whatever the hell this is material this is don't don't worry about that it should come off easy um this guy uh or this set uh i was in the store and i'm about to show you the other things that i bought in the store too i, I only bought a few other things they were asking 40 bucks for and i offered them 10 10 for a set of bose speakers that thump 
hard if you have the right thing to push them. If you don't have the right push, by the way, just FYI, you're not going to get the right sound out of the speaker. You always got to have, you know, better equipment, better audio equipment in order to get the better audio sound. Pretty obvious, I know, but a lot of people don't know that. Anyway, um, so I offered them 10 bucks. They took it. Uh, and easily I'm going to be able to sell these locally for 25, 30 bucks. I'm going to actually shoot to begin with, with $40, see how it goes. If they don't sell within a week, then I'll bring it down to 30. If they don't sell within a week, I'll bring it down to 20 and by 20 bucks, I know a set of both speakers will sell like no question, just, just no question. So anyway, um, keep your eye open. Both speakers are great. Also make sure you look at the, the, um, the condition of the speaker you don't want things with you know a bunch of stains or holes or tears or you know um you know a lot of times these um the the corners of these will get real damaged i've seen that all a lot in um thrift stores when i've looked at speakers that you know like the corners have been dropped or they've just been uh, abused and just not well taken care of so um yeah Keep your keep your eye open because Bose uh, and other there are other high end speakers that do come um, into thrift stores once in a while. Um, I have a set of uh, floor standing speakers that were about a thousand dollar set. Sorry, I was turning around to look at them. Um, there's about a thousand dollar set of speakers I got for a hundred bucks for the set, so not bad. All right. So this same St. Vincent de Paul store that I got the speakers at, and you can see the St. Vincent de Paul. Sorry, it's upside down, but um, you can see their bag right there. And I found two Game Boy sets. The first Game Boy is the Advance or SP. What is that? Advance SP, I guess. And it um, it had a charge on it, which is great. Unfortunately, it does not have a charge cord, but um uh, i've got one of those already so i wasn't too worried about it so i can easily sell this and it also came with seven games seven games that this guy came with which is awesome it has a great picture there was no there was no issue on the picture or anything um the screen is relatively scratch free it's got some smudge on it right now but there's not really any heavy scratching on it or anything so it's it's in really decent shape overall very few people would uh, complain about that and then I found an original, or along with it, was an original Game Boy, and the the screen kind of pops off, so I got to sit here and play with it. If I can't get it to work, that's okay, because um, I'm about to tell you, I bought all this as a bundle, even though they had them for sale separately, and I'll tell you why I bought it as a bundle and why I was willing to pay for something that otherwise I might throw away, simply because it's broken. Um, uh, when I say throw away, you know what, I should, that's a little harsh. I'd probably sell it on eBay for parts, um, because somebody might want to fix it. But anyway, so that, that's just come kind of coming off. Um, I have not tested it. I, I haven't put batteries in it to see if it even kicks on. It may kick on and then I might just use a little adhesive right here. Keep that, you know, down and seated and sell it. You know, if it, if it turns on, then hell yeah, I'll sell it. This one, this guy came with another... Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four games. Now, I told you that one came with seven games. One was already in it, and it also came with this carry case, but the other games are in the carry case. So that one came with four games plus a Light Boy. Now, I haven't tested the Light Boy, so unfortunately I don't know if it works, and I'm now thinking that was probably stupid of me. I probably should have tested it ahead of time. Actually, I seriously doubt it's got... I think it draws its power from... From the actual Game Boy, so I don't think it even turns on, even if it could. But anyway, so I got to test that. But um, so I, I got the original Game Boy, the Light Boy, four games, the other Game Boy, and the seven games along with the carry case with that other Game Boy. I bought it all for thirty dollars. I offered thirty bucks for it, and the reason I offered thirty bucks for it was because that Game Boy alone should sell for about fifty. That's five zero. Um, at least according to the current price on Amazon that I saw on it. Uh, and then the Light Boy, what do I do with the Light Boy? Oh, right there. The Light Boy, assuming that it works, sells for another 30 So 50 and 30 that's 80 bucks plus whatever I'm going to get for the games. That's not a bad rate of return. And you know what? I just offered. So go goes back to what I said earlier. Make offers. Don't just assume that they won't take what you're 
or you know that they won't take anything else besides their asking price you don't know how long it's been on the store or on the shelf for um you know they, they may be totally open to it who knows um there are three things that i'm going to leave to the end of this video because they're freaking amazing sorry hold on um so <sighs> This is one of those impulse buys. It was two bucks. It's game party. I, I do have a Wii at home, and I've got a little girl that will be uh, playing Wii in the next probably three or four years. She's really little right now. Um, but um, I thought that that might be kind of fun. It was, Again, it was a $2 game. It was scratch-free. Uh, you always want to look at the discs on games. Make sure that they don't have any scratches on them because that can um, greatly hinder you know their playability. But I thought that would be kind of fun for the family. Um you know, just some, some extra games and just kind of fun party things. Uh, okay, so... Joysticks. Joysticks sell like crazy. This is the most amount of money that I will spend on a joystick. I will not spend more than $5 on a joystick because they also fluctuate in price quite a bit. Um, oftentimes, you will sell a joystick for around 20 bucks. Here's the problem. They're oversized, or at least they're considered oversized uh, by Amazon. And um, uh, you need to wrap them nicely. You know, I, I use bubble wrap. I, I don't um, probably use the best bubble wrap I could because I buy that in bulk from like my local Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, and I know that I pay too much for it, but I just I, I haven't made the time to figure out where to get it cheaper. But so you wrap this a couple of times with bubble wrap and after you've cleaned it and whatnot, um, and assuming that it sells for 20 bucks when you buy it for five, you're making about five bucks on it. Um, that's after the cost of, you know, the shipping and the bubble wrap and everything else. So just know that the, uh, that if you go after uh, joysticks and not every joystick works, this is one of the um, decent ones. Logitech typically uh, if you find a Logitech joystick, typically you're in the clear. Um, but this is um, uh, this is the price point you want to stay within or under. Typically, you do not want to spend more than that. There are a few joysticks that are um, that are outside of that spectrum, but for the most part, the mo the majority of the joysticks you're going to find, you don't want to spend more than five bucks on. Uh, let's see here. Found this phone. Uh, make sure you check out phones. Phones can be very, very lucrative. Um, you know, this particular one, um, just seemed to, uh, I want to say the, the, the going or the asking price was $90. I don't know if that's the typical price that these sell for. I got to check that, um, through, uh, Keepa. I got to make sure that Keepa says that, you know, that they typically do sell at that price, but it had a great sales rank and, um, it sold, uh, you know, and it was currently for sale for 90 bucks. So I figured four bucks, that's a pretty good, um, you know, uh, potential risk, if you will, on, on investment. Uh, one more phone here with an answering machine. Never heard of this company before. Oh, Conair. I've heard of Conair. Excuse me. I was looking at the sport telephone, but Conair evidently makes phones as well as hair care products. Who knew? So uh, this guy was five bucks. It is brand new. It's never been opened. And uh, I want to say it was going for like 30 bucks, something like that. So another really good rate of return.